Peace for Ukraine or you reign. Good night, baby. Have wonderful dream. Heaven love you and I love you. Remember God, you are divine. Have a good night. So I'm very lenient with you. I take it easy. I lead you by the hand and I walk slowly. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> because I know you couldn't even walk yet. And if I make you run, <laughs> you are gone. So in the time of uh, transition between the worst climate on the planet to a higher level of climate, I mean spiritually, I have to be lenient with you, yeah? But a little discipline won't hurt, okay? You pay for your own food, and that's all right. Because you earn money, right? Yes. yes. You're okay. You're not homeless, no? And you're capable, you're intelligent. It's okay. If you, you pay for food at your home, you pay for food here. And it's cheaper even than in your home. Yes? Yeah, you have wonderful holiday, you have good hotel, you have a hot shower, running shower, <laughs> which you cannot use. <laughs> because you're too many. <laughs> but at least you have a running toilet, no? <laughs> I mean, the toilet is not running, but it's working. <laughs> and you have a good Z to go bath in, and you have a clean place to live, good food, good cooks. And you have me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be honest with you, okay? That's it. But if you don't have money, of course you don't pay. And we all know that already, yeah? If you really don't have money, you don't have a job for the moment, and you're really hard up, I even give you money. <laughs> Last night I gave some to some uh, of your sisters and brothers who, who are in need, and I probably give some more later on if I know who. And you know that I give all the time. Hmm? But uh, I want to teach you the dignity of self-dependence. Yeah? Yes. If the system here is relying on money to live, then we just live on by that. And if we have money, we contribute to ourselves. <laughs> yeah, okay? So you have a very nice holiday, just pay a few dollars for food, per meal, it's not much, according to the, the price of each country. If we go to another country that's cheaper, then you don't have to pay so much even. Yeah, okay? So. Uh, what I mean is, um, you always heard that, oh, you go to the house of the master and, or the temple, you don't need to pay. You do pay. And they put a box there and you put the money in anyway. Or you pay money and people register how much you pay and give you a receipt and all that. So I don't want this kind of, you know, hypocrite system. I just say, you pay for your food, however much it is you put together and you calculate how much you need, and you pay just exactly that amount. You see, so you know that I don't take the money from you, just the food or the, maybe the expenses. But here are the expenses I pay already, just the food. I don't want to buy you. I don't want to bribe you into believing me. I don't want to blackmail you in any way at all that you come here because of that. Yeah? It's easy enough already. Everything is free. So just a little food, take care of yourself, and that's fair. It's good to have dignity. Huh? <laughs> Anyway, so mostly they say, oh, if you come, you know, I don't like this kind of talking. You come to the house of the master, oh, everything is free. How would the master have all that free? <laughs> yeah? And <laughs> even uh, if I sell something, people also say, oh, it's expensive. It's not really, it's the same price like everywhere else, even less now. But if I don't sell, how do I have money to take care? And if I take money from you, people say, take donations. There's no way I can work in this world. Or oh, whatever it is, I do my best, you do your best. Yes. <laughs> no matter what. We just have to take care of ourselves as best we can. So I don't buy you. Hmm? I don't bribe you. You should pay for everything. Maybe then I would know better who is who. <laughs> no, but that is not, that is not guaranteed, though. That's not guaranteed. 
Some people have lots of money and they want to pay just to control or just to show off, or they just have a lot of money and they they just give anyway. So many systems rely on that donation to live on, but it's also meaningless anyway. It's by no means saying that the person who gives a lot is a true disciple of God. Not necessarily. Yeah, maybe he is, but it doesn't count because of money, not because of his contribution. It must be from the heart. Where were we? Yeah. Ah, we come back to the disciple stuff, nah? So the ten disciples that any country should have in order to keep their country alive, it doesn't count only physically as <laughs> how many has or how many people sit three hours, four hours a day. It's not like that. It counts from here <laughs> and from what you're doing, yeah? And the way we are doing, uh, each nation has more than ten disciples because you are spreading the news. So even if you are not a good disciple, at least other people who receive the flyer become good disciples. <laughs> who knows, maybe he gets a booklet and he becomes really devoted to God, né? or he changes his, his life. He doesn't eat meat anymore, he doesn't drink wine anymore, he doesn't kill people, he doesn't steal anymore, he doesn't rob anymore, he becomes a really good citizen. And that effect, we also earn merit to you, to your spiritual uh, store of merit, and it's also good for society. Yeah? And if everyone in society turns around like that, I mean the bad ones turn around like that, then that country, of course, won't be destroyed. Yes. Because it's good, it's a positive country and it radiates all the good things and positive atmosphere, then that country, of course, will not be destroyed. That's what it means by ten good disciples. He worries so much because he has only four. (laughs) That's very good. It's very good that you worry like that. But you're doing fine. Yeah? You, You understand now the effect of that, of what you're doing. Yes? Because of your flyers, your translations, your people understand more about the good way of living, and that spreads out, and all the bad things will be gone, only good things will remain. And even if you don't have officially ten heads <laughs> sitting with you in the meditation center, you have more than ten, because your country will be more positive. Then nothing can destroy a positive atmosphere of a country. That's how you save the country. It's not necessarily by sitting together, ten people, in one meditation center, or in, in the whole country. Do you understand now? Yes. yes. The bad atmosphere will attract destructive energy from the negative power, but the positive atmosphere will attract more positive uh, energy from heaven, and that will be a great protection for your country or any country. How come you just turn it on now and it's nicer? What did you spare before? Mm. The microphone is much better now, no? Before I had to make an effort, yeah, by screaming. Now I can just whisper, Hello! <laughs> God bless you! <laughs> wow! Any more questions? Yeah. What? Question, question? I would like just to say something. Yeah, never mind. Say anything, ask anything. I would like to thank you um, because my life has changed on much better uh, since I got initiated. Um, And I know that you are always with me and uh, the other people who aren't initiated also um, know um, your power. I mean, sometimes when I am uh, outside, they know you. Um, Outside people? Yes, yes. Um, so I would like just the thanks. And <laughs> I don't understand. You go outside, people know me, and you thank me. Why? No, um, spiritual power uh-huh. is very strong. Uh-huh. If we meditate sometimes together, like group meditation, and then we go out, like some other people, I notice, they just do this, you know? They do what? They do like this. Uh-huh. Just like they would remember their third uh-huh, eye. Okay, okay. Like your presence reminds them to remember the third eye. Okay, yeah. I got it. Okay. Mm. 
<laughs> you have to explain like that, otherwise nobody understands nada. <laughs> it's okay, enjoy, enjoy the blessing from Thank heaven. You. Mm. Anyone else? Yeah. I'd like to say also something um, about uh, sharing. In Munich, um, there is an association that is called the Die Tafel, it means the table. They uh, summarize uh, from a supermarket the rest of the food or different things and they share to the homeless people or the poor people without money. They organize uh, cars and um, transport different kinds of things and they uh, build up distribution points and uh, ask these poor people to come there and they distribute uh, every day whatever they have and mm, without good. any money. That's yeah. very good. Yeah. Mm. Good. Very good job. They do that also in other countries. Yes. They call it food bank in uh, Canada, something like that. Or like homeless shelters, <laughs> and people can come and take a free shower or free food, yeah, and free bed, yeah, somewhere to stay in the winter. Very good. I'm glad they do that. Any more? No? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. I want to say I, I love so much your singing song in SMTV. What song? Um, I don't know. Um, in English song in SM Jewish, like um, Bijou. In SM Celestial, you're singing a song. Mm -hmm. So? I mean, it's very beautiful. It's very important for us if, if next time you sing a song for dog. I mean, for what? For, for dog. For dog. So oh. please record it. We will <laughs> need it. I sing every night to my dog people, so how can I record it all the time? I do it spontaneously. Yeah, before I close the door or bef before I turn out the light or after they turn out the light, I sing a little bit so they know it's time to sleep. <laughs> they know that I still love them and also to remind them to feel good, feel secure. And I always tell them the last thing is that remember God. That's it. Uh, I sing a little bit different sometimes, it depends on... <laughs> so, it's really nothing for you. I sang already one time for your dog people, no? Yeah. It is recorded somehow? Yes. Yeah. German, yeah. And even I tell you how to sing to your husband. <laughs> same, same melody, you know? <laughs> I don't know how the song came about, and I'm not sure if the music is okay or so. It's just for my dog people, you know? <laughs> and I make it up sometimes. If sometimes they are injured or something, uh, they are hurt somewhere because sometimes they go out and they go into the the bushes, and sometimes they scratch themselves or something. Then I put some cream, and then I sing something different. Like, don't worry, you'll be fine, just a little <laughs> pickle, <laughs> something like that. Uh, but mostly just at night, just to remind them, I sing to the dog people, to the birds people. I say, oh, I can't do it now, it's just... <laughs> it's not natural. <laughs> Some I just try to remember, like... Um, mostly I just say, like, Good night, babies. Have wonderful dreams. Heaven loves you, and I love you. Remember God, you are divine. Have a good night. Remember God. Something like that. <laughs> Good night, baby. Have wonderful dreams. Heaven love you, and I love you. Remember, God, you are divine. Have a good night. Remember.